kitchen with uh, Curtis Luke from Courtyard and now with the brush with celebrity in fact full-on celebrity from Top Chef Canada season two and uh, you're all done taping that it starts on March 12th right that's yeah. where you can watch it yes certainly on it, the Food Network it's a massive program a lot of people really love following along with it it's had great success what was that like well first tell me how you ended up on that show actually well one day I was just uh, visiting my parents and mm -hmm. I just I didn't know, I mean, I saw the show the first season, mm -hmm. and I was just on the computer and I realized there was a casting call. And there weren't very many days left, and I thought, I wanted to do it last season, mm -hmm. but uh, for various reasons, I ended up not doing it. And so this time I thought, you know, I'll just give it a shot, you know, see where it goes. If I get on the show, it'll be great. If not, you know, it's yeah. just another thing. I so you have to put together a video or? Yes, yeah, so I put together an audition video. I just did it at the restaurant a few days after and uh, rushed it over to the studio. And then one thing led to another. Bingo, and you're on the show competing in front of uh, some of the top culinary minds in Canada, including Mark McEwen, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it must have been nerve wracking. Well, certainly cooking for him was, uh, was a challenge to yeah. you know, try and get into his mind. Yeah, I bet. All right, well, what are we going to cook today in this segment? Well, in this segment, I'm just going to show you a, a simple dessert that you can sort of assemble beforehand. Okay. It incorporates all the flavors you like from the movie theater. You got, you know, peanut butter, chocolate, you know, yogurt, Excellent. raisins, and uh, pop caramel popcorn. Okay, so uh, we'll start that, and I'll, I'll ask you some more questions if we can about um, certainly about uh, t Top Chef. Tell me about uh, what your other competitors did. W were they, was it stiff competition for you? Oh, certainly. Uh, the other competitors, they certainly come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, cities, too. Uh, right? Yeah, and uh, a lot of them have excellent, well, they all have excellent resumes. So What's interesting to me is watching how someone from a different re region will actually use that region's uh, food groups that are typical for it, right? So if you're a uh, Quebec from the, or if you're a chef from Quebec, the Eastern Townships or wherever, you end up seeing a different style happen than one from Vancouver. Yeah, I certainly noticed that. Yeah. Um, it's here. I'm just gonna. This is just some uh, peanut butter mousse I made beforehand. Okay. Uh, what, how do you make a mousse? Well, this. Well, this one is just. Uh, you take some peanut butter, mm -hmm. icing sugar, mix that together, mm -hmm. and then you um, add in some whipped cream and. Basically, to, just to lighten it up and to make it not as sweet. But this is a good little Valentine's uh, treat uh, right for here. For sure, you can <laughs> just uh, something that's really uh, delicious and sort of it's easy to impress. I think. Right, I think so too. So uh, now, it, this comes with a series of challenges that I think sometimes reflect the, the uh, kitchen environment, and other times just feel almost bizarre, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's one of the reasons I wanted to get on the show in the first place. Just watching the sort of tasks you're put up against, and I just wanted to test myself out against uh, against the field. So at the courtyard right now, you are wh what's your position at the courtyard? Uh, my position at the courtyard is sous chef. So you're a sous chef, okay? Yep. And you were looking to get a little more experience too, and did, did working with other chefs, not just the judges giving you pointers, but other chefs really help mm. out or give you oh, broaden well, your horizons at all? I th I think I think that was the case. Uh, I think just by meeting the chefs from all different parts of the world and different experiences gave me a new perspective as to uh, my personal style. And, uh, allowed me to reflect on where I should be moving towards okay. in the future. That's cool. We've done what with the raisins now? Uh, so I just, these are raisins that were soaked in a bit of bourbon and I just covered them with, this is yogurt powder. Okay. You can just get that from a specialty food store or we get our from a dedicated supplier. It's very interesting. It's sort of like uh, low fat milk powder, but this is actually just yogurt that's dehydrated. Oh, excellent. So, so it sort of simulates healthy. the, yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. it has that tanginess of the yogurt that covers the, uh, the sweetness of the raisins. Okay, so those just go on top yeah. there. Very nice, then, uh, decor. Yep, <laughs> and then I'm just going to top it with the popcorn ice cream. Now, what is popcorn ice cream? So it's just a simple ice cream base that I, but what I've done differently is I've steeped it in some, the base in just some popcorn. Oh, really? So, yeah, it gives it, it actually reminds me of, uh, of the milk you get when you have cereal and mm -hmm. you get a bowl of corn flakes. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So it has that corny flavor. That's the toasty corny flavor. Like, which I, like okay. almost like a Captain Crunch. Yes. <laughs> All right. So Very I'm good. Without gonna... the mouth cutting properties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there'll be more later. Yeah. Good. So, so just on top. Okay. And then I have some uh, caramel corn pieces. Oh, very good. Oh. Just going to decorate. Well, that's. 
That's interesting. Now, did you use this dish at all, or do we have to wait to find uh, out? Oh, you have to wait to find out. <laughs> yeah, I can't but. get any details out of Curtis, <laughs> um, because it does air March 12th. And are you sworn to secrecy before? Oh, definitely. Are you signed papers and things, oh, disclosures? Oh, definitely. I don't think I should, I should even mention those, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very tight-lipped about everything. Yeah, because it's more fun when you don't know, and it adds drama to the yeah, entire thing. certainly. Your friends pump you for information, though? Oh, they try, they try. <laughs> <laughs> and you say you have to watch. Yeah. So, at look at this. And finally, I'm just gonna add some caramel sauce just for decorative touch. Nice. And then, sometimes food's so pretty you don't want to eat it. Yeah. Almost. Well, you have to try. <laughs> Is that right? So, and there you have it. That's just the peanut butter and chocolate tart. Now, can I go ahead and have a little oh, bit? Oh, please can help I yourself. Ruin it for you. Please help yourself. Oh, actually, I have some pork. Oh, okay, pork would be better. Done. So I'm just gonna try and grab a bit of the mousse and the ice cream here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the popcorn ice cream is good. Oh, fant I'm glad you can taste it. Oh, my goodness, can I ever? And then it plays, the peanut butter is so good in there as mm -hmm. well. That is such a good mix of flavors. Curtis Luke on Top Chef Canada, March 12th. You're coming back. What are we going to make next? Uh, next, we're going to make pasta carbonara. All right, I'm looking forward to that. That's on the way on CTV Morning Live uh, as we head to Sarah Freemark, who is taking a look at history in Renfrew.